And I was browsing Strava the other day and Alejandro Valverde popped up and I was thinking like, has his power data been released from the Worlds? And I was like, let's have a look. And anyway, it has been. So this is his data from the World Championship, Sunday the 30th of September, started at 9.52. Uh, you can see some basic stats here. He did win the World Championships, if you weren't aware. Uh, 260 kilometers, more or less, 257. Uh, six hours, 45 moving time, uh, 4,755 meters of elevation. So decent elevation, decent elevation. Um, 283 weighted average power, which I would suggest would be closer to 300 on the normalized power, uh, using Andy Coggins' formula. Strava's formula, I think, is slightly different. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, 38 care on average, max power 1100 watts, max speed 97 k's an hour, uh, and 5,500 calories burnt, which is pretty significant. So anyway, we'll go into just like the course. So you can see, basically, they started down here in Kufstein, basically just, I mean, these climbs, pretty cash tempo, um, rolled along the valley, um, did this first climb, then they had seven laps of this, uh, of this the main climb, and then they had this really steep climb just before the finish. So anyway, you can see here, um, the first bit was, was not too tough, you know, 168 watts, that's very, very, very chill for um, Valverde, um, and this first climb as well, um, again, 350 watts for like 10 minutes. I mean, it, it's obviously an effort, um, but it, it's nothing absolutely crazy. Um, so the break had then been established. Um, so they basically just rode most of these climbs at sort of tempo. So you can see here, 300 watts for Valverde. He weighs a little over 60 kilos. So it's a little less than five watts per kilo for um, 20 minutes or a little less than 20 minutes. So again, I mean, it seems quite good, but for this guy, his uh, FTP is probably about six and a half to seven watts per kilo. So yeah, so there's nothing crazy. Um, it's sort of good tempo zone for him. Uh, again, you can see the next lap, 320 watts, almost identical. Um, so just, you know, tiring. Um, next one, 325. So you can see the pace is going up a little bit. Um, the times are coming down. Uh, 331. So you can see every every lap, it's just getting a little bit faster, a little bit faster. Um, this is the third third to go, 345 watts. That suddenly goes up quite a lot. Obviously, the time goes down by a couple minutes. Uh, and then this is the third fastest time here. So you can see... Um, 25 k's an hour, 337 watts. So the second lap, penultimate um, climb of this uh, was almost finished. And the last lap you can see was suddenly a lot, lot faster. 343 watts. This is the fastest cl time they climbed it, 1559. Um, so anyway, you can see here, we had a couple of attacks over the top. Um, basically, at this point here, there was only the really elite riders left. Um, there was about six or so, I believe, um, who then descended this um, absolutely rapidly, um, very, very quickly, this descent. Um, and then we basically come up to the last climb. Um, so this last climb, the Gumart climb, uh, 418 watts, but this doesn't really show the true story because it was quite tough. It was sw sort of swapping turns um, on the run-in, um, and then basically you can see how they rode this climb. Uh, pretty steady, and then just a huge attack here um, to get over the top um, and separate it. And then it came down to a bunch sprint. Uh, well, bunch sprint, very reduced bunch sprint. It was a bar day. Um, What's this face? Sorry, Bardet, um, Moscon, Valverde, uh, and Woods, I believe it was. Um, you can see here they're messing around. He does a little bit of a turn here, um, 400 watts for like 17 seconds to just drive it. Um, but this last bit here is 327 watts, including the climb. Uh, and then after the climb, it definitely does settle down. Um, 245 watts, so nothing crazy. Uh, and then this is basically where the sprint is done 862 watts for 24 seconds uh, with a peak of 1100 watts at the end of a six hour race 900 watts for 20 seconds done cheerio valverde is very good on those long strings sprints and that's pretty much how we won but anyway what we'll do ne now is um go into the flybys which is quite interesting because you can basically see like where valverde won where valverde lost um we'll be able to hopefully see some good stuff sorry my internet seems to be very slow at this moment in time uh but you can see we have mike woods uh roman bardet uh, we should also have Michael Valgren in there, I believe. Um, should be Michael Valgren in there. Uh, we'll just add a lot of these pros in, just and then you'll be able to see how it went on. I'm I'm surprised Valgren's not there because he definitely would have uploaded and he was very he did well. Um, but anyway, we have the basically the two main people here. Um, so we will play how the World Championships played out. Uh, so you can, oh, hang on, man, we're gonna have to speed this up a little bit, otherwise it's gonna take absolutely years. Um, so you can see this bit here was uh. Yeah, pretty, pretty long. Took a fair old time for them to finally get to the valley. Then they started doing the climbs, um, and then we'll be able to see where people start to tail off a little bit if we zoom in on the climbs. So it's pretty cool that you can see this. Like you can see Valverde. So first climb, no one really tails off. 
go on to 200 times. They do this weird lap around Innsbruck, and then up they come. Uh, back onto the first climb. Anyone going to get dropped on this sec the second attempt? A uh, couple people get dropped. Third climb, you can see a couple more people getting dropped. Quite a lot of people getting dropped on that one. Fourth time up it, again, more people getting dropped. You can see the elite bunch are still there, but you know there's, there's now starts to be the remnants of everyone else. You can see Connor Swift get dropped there. I think he did his turn. Um, and Valverde and everyone else is obviously still there. Then that one, the penultimate one, was really, really fast. Um, and then this one was basically, so if we now pause it uh, and zoom in on Valverde, uh, you'll be able to see that he is in sort of a group almost on his own. So you can see Thibaut Pino is just off the back here. We then have Barde here. Um, oh, sorry, if we click on them, we'll just have to zoom in and try and recognize them. So you can see Barde is slightly up the road, Valverde is here, a lot of the other guys, Rudy Mollard here is here, Mike, what, Mike Woods is there. Uh, let me see anyone else. Who's that? Jack Haig is there. Um, and then you'll basically be able to see, we'll slow this a little bit down, um, and then you'll be able to see the World Championships basically play out on this super, super steep climb, chasing everyone. You can see Valverde is going with Barde and Woods, and you can see up here, this is where the selection is made, over the top of this, and then you can see everyone is down. We'll now pause it, um, but you can see like Thibaut Pino and everyone else got basically spat on that climb, um, and then they, there's the run in here, so it's quite a technical downhill. And then it comes to the final sprint, and that is where Alejandro Valverde won with his 900 watt sprint for 20 seconds. So we'll just follow it down here, over there, over the bridge, and then Valverde basically just rinsed everyone on the sprint. So anyway, just watching, hope you did enjoy this. Uh, if you want me to do any more power data, anyone you know is there, or anyone you think could be there, then let me know. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty incredible effort from Valverde, sort of 300 normalized, so a little less than probably 4.8 watts per kilo for like 6 hours, 45 minutes. But obviously, that doesn't really tell the whole story. Climbing consistently around 5 watts per kilo for 20 minutes, maybe more. Um, and the last couple were more like 5.3, 5.4. Um, then yeah, that's what you do, and then have the sprint at the end. Um, I think the main thing that if you see from the power curve here is that like, so for like 20 minutes or whatever, like, you know, 5.4 watts per kilo. Like, that's solid, but it's nothing nuts. Like, anyone can do that. Um, he's half decent. It's more the 10 minutes at 400 watts um, going up that really, really steep climb. That was where the separation remained. Six and a half watts per kilo for 10 minutes is pretty hard to do for most people fresh. But then six and a half watts per kilo at the end of a race is, is, is just different level. I mean, if you were trying to ride, if you said to the average person, ride at six and a half watts per kilo for 10 minutes, I don't think they could do it. Like, the, like and when I say average, I mean, obviously, like, you know, a decent person who races. Um, but I think, uh, yeah, that's basically where the separation made. But six and a half watts per kilo at the end of a race is just world class. Um, it means like his 10 minute power is probably fresh, potentially seven watts per kilo, maybe more. Um, you know, Constable came out with a 470 watt uh, effort, which I think was around 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, that was, that was pretty incredible. Um, and that would be it for him, well over seven watts per kilo. So probably Valverde is also a little over seven watts per kilo for 10 minutes. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And if you want to win the World Championship, then basically you need to be as strong as Valverde. Um, so he's got busted for drugs. But anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.